Hello, and welcome to ADER, Artificial Intelligence for Disaster Response. Uh, it's a free, open source, and easy to use platform for automatically filtering and classifying relevant tweets that are posted during humanitarian crises and other disasters. So I'm going to provide you with a technical overview of what ADER is and how it works. We start off with Ader Collect, which allows users to create and manage collections of tweets that are broadcast during mass emergency and other crises. Um, this is shown here on the left side, the Create Collection page, which allows users to define filtering criteria by choosing particular keywords, hashtags, languages, and or geographical locations to specify which tweets they're interested in collecting. Over on the right, you see a screenshot from the monitor collection page. Um, and this shows the status of a tweet collection once it has begun. It provides the user with the number of tweets that have been downloaded, the last downloaded tweet, so the most recent tweets that were downloaded, how much time has elapsed, and additional data. So after tweets are collected, we move to what we call the ADER tagger. Um, and this is the machine computational component of ADER. And how this works is for users, to specify categories they would like tweets to be classified into. So maybe I'm interested in classifying tweets as containing information about road closures or information about blood donation needs, etc. Users can add also add standard classifiers or they can, they can create their own custom classifiers. And that custom classifier section is shown at the, um, here at the bottom of the page on that little add classifier page. Um, the tagger requires, we need to tag these tweets because the tagger requires other tagged examples to, to be used for training data. Next we move on to the trainer. Um, and so in order for Ader to obtain tagged examples, um, you can use two different tagging applications. The first one, which is shown on this page, is the internal tagging application. And what this does is it allows an owner of a tweet collection, so someone has a collection of tweets that, that he or she has specified, um, and then that person can go through each of the tweets that have been collected and tag those tweets with the particular categories that he or she is interested in. Importantly, the user can do this without involving any volunteers or outside parties. The other option uh, for tagging tweets involves Pybosa. Um, and this is used to obtain tagged examples from crowdsource workers and volunteers and other interested external parties. Um, this page can be shared on social media sites like Twitter or Facebook um, so that volunteers and interested folks can easily link to ADER and start tagging tweets with relevant information categories. So once tweets are tagged and the machine has used those tagged tweets to learn how to classify particular tweets, um, we have an output. So here on the left side, we see training examples, um, which shows uh, examples of a particular collection that have been tagged. Um, and importantly, the user can review these tweets and remove them if he or she feels they were incorrectly, uh, incorrectly tagged or just doesn't want that tweet included in the training data. On the right side, uh, we show classified output. So this is the machine, the machine's output. These are automatically classified tweets um, done by Ader that will provide the user with more specific and useful information uh, broadcast on Twitter. So that was a, a quick and dirty overview of what Ader is and how it works on the more technical side of things. Um, please get in touch with us if you have any questions or would like more information. Uh, you can go to the link in the bottom right-hand corner of this slide.